Welcome to P. Clark Calc, where we do practical calculus for the busy math student. In this video, we're going to take a look at an example of integration by parts. This one involves a polynomial and an exponential factor. Here we're taking a look at the integral x times e to the 3x dx. And when you kind of check down through all the integration techniques you may know to this point, it doesn't fit any of them. It's not a substitution. If we, had, if we had e to the 3x squared, that would work out okay as an e to the u case of a, of a u substitution. But we need a different technique here, and the one that we're going to use is called integration by parts. And integration by parts is the product rule for integration. If you take the product rule and integrate both sides with respect to x, you can prove this formula. Uh, survival stuff, you just need to know it. The integral of u times dv equals uv minus the integral of v times du. So the integration by parts technique requires you to, to take your integrand and divide it up into two distinct factors. Everything in that integral has to be in either the u factor or the dv factor. And so the, the guidelines on which choice to make, we say, well, we want u to be a factor that becomes simpler, if possible at all, when we do the, the derivative of it. Because if we look on the right-hand side, the differential du is going to be required at some point. So in this case, that means that we let u equal the polynomial factor, which is x, because the derivative of a polynomial gets simpler, the derivative of an exponential really does not. Then that leaves the other factor, dv. Now if you look at dv, we need, need to integrate that eventually on the right-hand side. We see v in our formula a couple of times. And here dv is what's left. Again, everything inside this integral has to be in one of these two factors. So dv here is going to be e to the 3x dx. Now the guidelines for dv are that it should be the more complicated factor that has an elementary integration rule. So in this case we know how to integrate both x and e to the 3x but the one that's slightly more difficult is e to the 3x. So, so this fits all the guidelines that are out there for picking the right choice of u and dv. So once we do that we set up for our attempt at integration by parts, because nothing is guaranteed here when we're integrating. So we, we write this out. We say, okay, well, u is equal to x, and dv is e to the 3x dx. The differential will always be with dv, because we need that in order to go ahead and integrate. So, so we go ahead and do what I like to call the little calculus. We kind of do this off on the side, very often in this format. We say, well, what's the differential of, of x? And the differential du then is 1 times dx. And then the integral of e to the 3x. Now, that technically, if you'd write that up as a separate integral, is, is a u substitution. However, there is a nice shortcut rule that's available that's, that's used quite often when we do integration by parts. And the shortcut rule states that the integral of e to the kx, in this case e to the 3x dx, is equal to 1 over k e to the kx plus c. So that means then that our, our integral of e to the 3x is 1 third e to the 3x. Now typically we'd have a plus c on there, but we don't write that at this point because when we look at integration by parts, it's called integration by parts because part of it is done and part of it is, is not done. There's always this, this integral v times du remaining that we're going to need to tackle. So we, the plus c will eventually show up here at the end of the problem, but we don't need to worry about it now. So, so if we do our little calc correctly here, then we just go ahead and apply the formula, and that states that this integral is u times v, which is 1 third x e to the 3x minus the integral of v times du. So now the integral of v times du is 1 third e to the 3x dx. That's the bottom row here in our little calculus. So, but what you're going to find out is that the constant multiple is almost never useful inside of this integral. So we, we tend to write it on the outside as a constant factor. So we have 1 third the integral of e to the 3x dx. So at this point, anytime we're doing integration by parts, we look at our v times du and, and look at that integral and say, well, is that, is that better than what we started out with? Is e to the 3x dx inside my integral better than the original? And the answer is sure. I mean, we've, 
we basically eliminated the factor of x and we have what I would call a terminal case. We're going to go ahead and do that integral again using our shortcut rule for exponential functions and then we can be finished with our with our antiderivative. So we go ahead and do that. If you if you do this technique and you see that the integral of v times du looks worse than what you started off with, you should definitely stop and go back and see if maybe you've made the wrong u dv assignments or maybe it's not an integral that goes by parts at all. You're just using the wrong technique. But here we're in good shape. So the integral of e to the 3x again is 1 third e to the 3x times my negative 1 third outside. You give us negative 1 ninth e to the 3x. And then we can put the plus c on at the end. And we have our antiderivative using this product rule for integration, which we call integration by parts. This is one of the classic cases of it. Um, think about cases where you have to use product rule with derivatives. Uh, and here's one with a polynomial and an exponential factor. However, it has to be, it has to be e to the kx when you look at it, um, because many of the other uh, exponential factors don't have antiderivatives. But but works pretty well in this case. Uh, integration by parts. Kind of need to know your formula. It's nice to know where it comes from, but you just need to know it at the end of the day. Integral u times dv is equal to uv minus the integral v times du. If you'd like to learn more about integration by parts or integration in general, you can find those on my calc books, which are available on Amazon for a nice price. And until next time, I'm P. Clark.